How many of us truly understand the workings of a compass? Let's dive deep into this fascinating instrument, a compass, our reliable partner in navigation and orientation. It's a tool that's been guiding explorers, adventurers, and lost souls alike for centuries. A simple object, yet it holds within its core a fundamental principle of our planet, a principle so profound it has shaped our history and our understanding of the world. While we often use them, the workings of a compass remain a mystery to many. At the heart of every compass lies a simple secret, magnetism. Picture a compass as a miniature model of our world. The compass needle is like a tiny free-floating bar magnet. This needle is the central character of our compass drama, the part that brings our compass to life. Now let's talk about magnetism. Imagine two friends playing tug of war. In this scenario, magnetism is that invisible force pulling the rope in opposite directions. But this time, the rope is the magnetic field and the friends are the north and south poles of a magnet. Earth, being the giant magnet that it is, also has a magnetic field extending from its north to south pole, creating a magnetic tug of war on a global scale. The compass needle, sensitive to this invisible tug, aligns itself with Earth's magnetic field. So the interaction between the compass needle and Earth's magnetic field is what makes a compass work. Now let's dive deeper into the relationship between a compass and Earth's magnetic field. Picture the Earth as a gigantic magnet with a north and south pole. This isn't too far from the truth, as our planet has a molten iron core which generates a magnetic field enveloping it. The compass, a seemingly simple instrument, is quite clever. It contains a small magnetized needle that is free to rotate and align itself with Earth's magnetic field. This magnetic field, invisible to our eyes, is what makes the magic happen. The needle, due to its magnetic nature, aligns itself to point towards the magnetic north and south poles of the Earth. But here's where it gets interesting. The magnetic north that our compass needle points towards isn't the same as the geographical north that you see on a map. The geographical north refers to the point where Earth's axis of rotation meets its surface. On the other hand, magnetic north is the point towards which the compass needle points. And it's a spot in the Canadian Arctic that's continuously moving due to the Earth's molten core's activity. So, while the compass is a trusty tool for finding your way, remember that it's pointing you towards Earth's magnetic north, which is a tad different from the north that's marked on your map. So the compass needle points towards the Earth's magnetic north, not the geographical north. Understanding how a compass works is one thing, but how do we use it for navigation? Now let's delve into the fascinating process of using a compass to guide us on our way. Firstly, it's crucial to grasp the distinction between magnetic north and true north. Magnetic north is the direction towards the magnetic pole, which is what your compass needle points to. Meanwhile, true north is the geographical north pole. The angle between these two is known as magnetic declination, and it varies depending on where we are on Earth. To navigate with a compass, you typically align the compass needle with the compass's north marker. Then, rotate the compass housing to match the direction you want to go with the direction of travel arrow on the compass. This will give you a bearing, which is the direction you need to travel from your current position to reach your destination. Remember, the key to successful navigation is practice and understanding the nuances of the compass. And that's how a compass helps us find our way. So, let's quickly recap what we've learned about how a compass works. First off, the heart of the compass, the magnetic needle. It's a slender bit of magnetized iron or steel that freely pivots to align itself with Earth's magnetic field. Speaking of which, Earth's magnetic field is our next point. It's this invisible force that pulls the needle towards the magnetic north. Quite intriguing, isn't it? Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Remember, there's a difference between magnetic north and geographical north. The former is the direction the needle points, while the latter is the top of the world as we often see it on maps. And finally, how to use a compass for navigation. You align the compass with your map, rotate it until the needle points to magnetic north, and voila, your path is set. With that, the mystery of the compass is unraveled. It's a simple tool, but its workings are a fascinating testament to the invisible forces that shape our world.